guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ali if you're new to my channel and welcome to beauty with a purpose if you are new to my channel I upload three videos a week beauty Bible and lifestyle so if any of those interest you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video so excuse the background, Ethan is in school right now, but I really needed to get something filmed for you guys this week. So he's going to be in the background, but today I have for you guys, like this has been my go-to look for the month of August. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get into me applying some makeup. All right, you guys, so starting off, I'm just going to make sure that my skin is nice and moisturized. So I'm going in with my ATP Cairo Sports Booster from 1-1 Skin. And we're just going to do this to kind of freshen up our skin. All right, you guys, so after we go in and use our moisturizer, I'm just taking my Touch and Soul Primer Essence to go ahead and do some pore blurring. After that, I am gonna go ahead and go in with my brows. I'm just taking my Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these in with a brow pencil this day, just because since it is my everyday makeup look, I don't like to do too much. Just, I want my brows to look very natural, but also fuller. Alright, so now that we're done with our brows, we're just going to go ahead and take this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer just to add a little bit more hydration because on days where I want a really good look, just light and natural, I really do like to make sure my skin is nice and moisturized. So for every day when I want more coverage, I do take my Wonder Beauty Light Illusion Foundation and I just go in and swipe that all over my face and I have mine in the shade Medium. So I'm taking this Kabuki brush. These brushes right here, you guys, are the reason why I have fell in love with applying my makeup with the brush. So I'm just taking this and just blending it out with this brush, and then we are going to go ahead and move into our cream contour. I like to do cream contour before I highlight just because this LA Girl Pro Conceal and I believe I have the shade Chestnut is something else. Like no matter how small dots I put, it just seems like it goes such a long way. So be careful if you get this and if you've been looking for a good cream contour, I recommend this. Going in with another brush from the same line and I believe that this one is called their sculpting brush or sculpting bronzer or something like that. And I am just going to go ahead and blend this out as well. I really like this brush because it's very precise and you can really get chiseled looks with this brush. As you can see, I did have to go in with a sponge just to kind of lighten up that bronzer a little bit because like I said, this, a little bit of this concealer goes a really long way. So I had to just go back in with the foundation brush and kind of blend that out. Next, I'm taking my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer and I have mine in the shade Light Neutral or Light Fair. So just applying a dot on the inner corner and then a dot towards the outer corner of my eye and we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out with the same foundation brush. You guys, when I tell you these brushes are super good, like I love them for every step of my makeup. Next, I am gonna take my Halo Glow Setting Powder and I have mine in the shade Light. And again, for the brush from the same line, this is their contour brush, but I like to use it for setting down my under eyes. And then I like to use their bigger powder brush for setting down the rest of my face. So after setting everything down, I am just going in with any bronzer. I've been trying to use up 
products that I don't really use in my collection. So now I'm going to take this big powder brush from the same line and we're just going to go ahead and start bronzing up our face which is kind of just like setting down that cream contour that we put all over our face. Just going in the same exact spots and just kind of adding more color back into our skin and structure. With that same bronzer, I'm just taking a fluffy crease brush and I am going to go ahead and just start applying that into my crease for some depth. So next for my, my lid and inner corner, I'm taking these Beauty For Real Shadow Sticks and I have the shades Everstruck and Midnight Marathon. So Everstruck is, oh, Ever Starstruck is the lighter color and Midnight Marathon is the darker color. And that's the one that I just go in and apply all over my lid is the darker one in the shade Midnight Marathon. Next I go in with Ever Star Struck and I just go ahead and tap that out with my fingers. And for blush, I'm taking my Essence Satin Touch Blush in the, in the shade Coral Satin and I'm taking that same brush that we used our bronzer with, dust it off and then I just go into my blush and start applying that on my cheeks. For highlight, I took this Hourglass Highlighting Stick. This had more of a pinky shade to it, and I just went ahead and applied that with my finger and tapped it onto my cheeks. This actually worked really well over powder, applying it with my finger. I don't know how it would work with applying it with a sponge or anything like that, but after that, I did go ahead and go in with mascara, and I'm taking this Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension. I have been liking this again now that I'm getting a little bit more length and volume to my lashes. If you have short lashes, believe me, you're not going to like this because it can sometimes make your eyelashes look more stubby and stuck together. But if you have good lashes for this, like you will love this. So I had short lashes before and I did not like it. Next, I'm taking my Profusion Lip Liner in the shade Imagine, and we're just gonna go ahead and fill our lips in with this. I do like a color on an everyday makeup look that's a little bit more natural, that's kind of hurt my, like, like your lips, but better. So that's why I took this shade, and like I said, we're just gonna fill this in like if it was a lipstick. And these are waterproof lip liners, which is why I like this one. So to top that off, we're going in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade at Tiramisu, and we're just going to apply this all over our lips, and it doesn't take much to get a really pretty glossy lip. To set down the brows, I'm using the Wonder Beauty Brow Gel. Not sure of the exact name, but I have mine in clear. But before I set those down, I do just go in and touch up any spots that could have been rubbed off from my brows, and I just go in and touch them up with the same exact eyebrow pencil. So now that we are in the home stretch, the last step, as always, I'm just taking any setting spray. I'm taking the Morphe one because I love the way it feels, and we are just going to use that to set down our face. Okay guys, so that is it for this makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more video suggestions, please go ahead and leave those in the comment box down below. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.